season's greetings from the Government Information Service. The following is a Christmas message to the nation by the Governor General of Grenada, His Excellency Sir Carlisle Lee. Fellow Grenadians, friends, greetings. Christmas is about love, the celebration of the Father's gift of His Son Jesus to the world because he loved humankind so much. Yes, Jesus was born on Christmas Day. Two groups of people played a key role in spreading the news of the birth of Jesus. They were the shepherds and the wise men. While the shepherds were keeping watch over their flocks that night, an angel appeared to them with the glory of the Lord shining brightly around them. They were terrified, and the angel said to them, Don't be afraid. I am here to give you good news, great joy for all the people. Today, a Savior has been born to you in Bethlehem. He is the Messiah and the Lord. Let this be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. Suddenly, the angel was surrounded by many more angels praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, peace on earth, for God is blessing humankind. When the angels left them, the shepherds said one to another, Let us go as far as Bethlehem and see what the Lord has made known to us. So they left hurriedly and found Mary and Joseph with the baby lying in the manger. On seeing this, they related what they had been told about the child and all were astonished on hearing the shepherds. The three wise men came from far distant lands in the east. They journeyed separately and came together as the star drew closer to Jesus. When they arrived in Jerusalem, they asked, Where is the newborn king of the Jews? We saw his star and have come to worship him. When King Herod heard this, he was disturbed and so were the people in Jerusalem. He hurriedly called a meeting of the high-ranking priests and experts of the law and asked where the Messiah was to be born. When they told him Bethlehem, he called in the wise men. He told them, go and find precise information about the child. And as soon as you find him, report to me that I too may go and honor him. After meeting with the king, the wise men continued their journey. They saw the star which had stopped over the place where the child was, and they were overjoyed at seeing the star again. They entered the house, and when they saw the child with Mary his mother, they knelt down and worshipped him. They offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. The wise men did not return to Herod. Many of us are like the shepherds watching our flocks. As parents, we watch over our family. As farmers, we watch over our gardens and livestock. As workers, we watch over our jobs. As business people and investors, we watch over our investment, shops, stores, hotels, fishing boats, vessels, and vehicles. 
Would we leave our flocks for a while and go as far as Bethlehem, that is, the church and our neighbors, and hear and see what the Lord has made known to us? Remember, the shepherds brought the news of the birth of the Christ child to the people of Bethlehem. Some of us, too, are like the wise men. We have a goal, a mission or journey. We know where we want to, go, to get to our destination, but we do not know the place or the route. We have come a long way, but we are not there yet. What do we do? Drop anchor where we are or turn back? No. We do what the wise men did. We seek information, get the necessary information, and complete the mission or journey, accomplish the goal. The wise men brought the news of Jesus' birth to Herod, the people of Jerusalem, the countries through which they traveled on their homeward journey, and their respective countries. Christmas is becoming more and more a festive season and less of a holy season. Jesus is being pushed aside, pushed outside, some say. With this change, we tend to show less concern for the poor and less fortunate among us. We pay more attention to decorating our homes, to parties and fets and new clothes. Today, in Grenada, many of our youth, especially those in the poorer rural and urban communities, are in crisis. Also, a section of the adult male population. This is reflected in the incidence of teenage pregnancies, violent and drug-related crimes among young males. Also, the reported cases of domestic violence and sexual abuse. At the recent graduation ceremony at Her Majesty's prison, one of the speakers stated that of the 400 plus inmates more than 80% are young males between the ages of 16 to 25 years. Generally, the observation is made that the crime rate among our young males is disturbing and sexual promiscuity among some young females give cause for concern. There are shelters for the abused females, especially the younger ones, and that is very necessary. Some habilitation, however, should be provided to young male offenders outside of prison. Christmas is the season of love. We are called to share our time, talent, and treasure with the less fortunate, especially in these difficult economic times. We should do so willingly at Christmas and at all times. Our youth organizations, for example, Brownies, Cubs, Scouts, Guides, 4-H, and other groups, all need help. One hour a week, will be most welcome by the leaders and the groups. We should try to help others at all times. It is the Christmas things we do, the love we share all year through, that show how much we love and care. When we accept and embrace God's gift of His Son, Jesus, we change our old ways. We pray more and become more like Jesus 
and are able to forgive those who offend us, quote unquote, our enemies. We are able to accept people who have changed from bad to good, especially those who paid the price for the offense or crime. They deserve a second chance. Let us learn to love and forgive and teach our children by what we say and what we do how to love, to be kind, and to forgive. The psalmist prayed for the forgiveness of the sins of his youth. But Jesus forgives the sins of our youth, our middle age, and our old age, as long as we acknowledge them and repent before him. For his peaceful presence is everywhere, and fallen men may rise again on wings of prayer. We need to pray more with greater devotion in our homes and in our schools. And then, as is said in Psalm 85, verses 13 to 14, the Lord will give what is good, and our land will yield its harvest. Justice will go before him, and peace will follow along his path. Fellow Grenadians, friends, on behalf of Her Excellency and myself, I wish you God's richest blessings, a peaceful and joyous Christmas, and a bright and prosperous New Year. And as one people, one family, may God bless us all. Thank you. The preceding was a Christmas message to the nation by the Governor General of Grenada, His Excellency Sir Carlisle. Joy to the world.